Boo-Boo's The Housewives of Atlanta has returned with season 8. Yes, yes. Season 8 with no Nene. Where is Nene? Me no no. Me no no. But one thing I do know. Five things I do know. Is who's holding the peach. And we have Miss Phaedra. Miss Portia. Miss Candy. Miss Kenya. And Miss Cynthia. Five beautiful ladies holding the peach. Yes, yes, yes. Five beautiful ladies holding the peach. And no Nene. Me no no. Let's get into this, boo boos. Season 8, Episode 1, Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, yes. We start off with Candy going to go visit Miss Jackie. Now, we all know Miss Jackie is the, the, the infamous, infamous OBGYN. Yes, yes, yes. She deliver babies in and out, in and out, in and out the hospital. She does this for a living. Yes, she does. So, Miss Candy go visit, visit Miss Jackie with Todd and find out that she's pregnant. She's 12 weeks and 4 days. Now, Candy girl, you know like I know, you knew you was pregnant when you was like 4 weeks and 1 day. You, was, you knew early. But it was cute that you brought the camera along and you let us see. You let us see this experience. It was real cute. You know what I'm saying? So they up in Jackie's office and they talking about how they just want a healthy baby. They don't care if it's a boy or a girl, but they ain't gonna throw a little shade talking about, hmm, you know we want a boy. But if it's a if it's a girl, shh, we, we gonna try again, maybe. Good. You know you gonna get some more IVF. I don't know how much that shit is, but girl, I know, I know you got that good shit. You got that shit that just went straight up into the it just said, shoo. It no hesitation. Because you got that money, girl. I ain't mad at you, shit. If I had it, I'd do it too, baby. I... Shoo. All righty, boo-boos. Then we going over to Phaedra. Phaedra's up in here. She got grapes. And she got a little fine wine and shit. And did you see my girl pulls up? Miss Portia, yes, pulls up and give me life. Y'all, I was just like, ooh, I was just like, yes. Portia, that is my, th th that's my fave. That's, that's who I rock with, Portia. I don't give a fuck. That's my bitch. She pulls up and she go up in there looking, you know what I'm saying, looking juicy. And not only that, I think she was looking juicy, so did Phaedra. You know, Phaedra a little freak. She like, girl, you got all that motherfucking milk in them jugs. All that ass on that back. And I'm just like, mmm, mmm. That girl is looking good. Looking, looking mighty good there, Portia. Yes, she was. And then they sitting there. And then she's talking about, Portia, Phaedra tell her congratulations on the ratings on Dish Nation. Baby, Portia wasn't worried about Dish Nation. The Portia like, let me tell you, girl. Let me tell you. I met this nigga. I met this nigga on Instagram. I'm a social media nigga. Social media nigga, Instagram nigga. Phaedra like, girl, tell me the scoop. Tell me all about him. Hmm. Huh. Somebody he gonna book me for life. Book you for life? Girl, stop it. Girl, stop it. He gonna put your ass in that backpack for life and carry you around. Tote you around the school. You know what I'm saying? K through 12. I'm talking shit, girl. You got you something thick and right. Yeah, I'm just doing a little shade. You got you something thick and right, Miss Portia. But I'm going to tell you, you need to watch, okay? You, you got to watch, okay? He's 24. He's young and tender. And I'm old and tender. Talking about you, you and your young 30s, girl. That was cute, you know what I'm saying? I thought you was in your 20s because Portia, you looking real good, girl. You looking mighty good. But this motherfucker's 20, only 24. That this motherfucker that she's fucking with. Now, Portia, I don't know. I don't know. 
if this motherfucker's a trans man or not, do he got a penis or a pussy? Because you say you ain't checked yet. And you know it's 2015. And motherfuckers walk around here looking looking more manlier. Bitch, more manlier than me. He probably got... That motherfucker could be a trans man and still got more dick than me. I'm just saying. Take a sip on that, huh? Mmm. Damn. I'm just saying. You better check for it somehow. I ain't checked yet, girl. You... You better t you girl fucker, look at it. Don't touch it. Look at that motherfucker, cause it look at that motherfucker. I examine it, and then examine it. And then she talking about. Did you hear about Cynthia, girl? What about her? Tell me. What the fuck have you heard about this bitch, Cynthia? Hmm. Cynthia man is cheating. Cynthia man is cheating, or is he cheating, y'all? So she pulls up. Or she brings up the cell phone picture or the media picture that been going around floating for months. And if you watch um, the show that Ty produces with, with the Hollywood divas or some shit, they try to become whatever fuck, whatever show that Ty produces that he go out into L.A. and he do. On um, that show, Lisa Wu is on there. And they thought it was Lisa Wu was the young lady that he was touching. Now, mind you, that show must have didn't get enough ratings because they had brought that shit on to Atlanta Housewives. So, we're going to push off that, I guess, for a couple of, couple of episodes. Probably the whole season. Because I... Now, I hope motherfuckers got a storyline on, on this shit because as we see, it's a whole bunch of bullshit going on. We still using this picture that we thought was Lisa Wu. We find out that it wasn't Lisa Wu. They blocking the face out. We don't know who the fuck it is. Me nor you don't know who it is, boo-boo. It could be Lisa Wu. And they just fucking fooling us. Because we just fucking... We, we looking for foolery. You know what I'm saying? We just... We, we, they, we looking for anything. We like... Mm, oh. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know who the hell it is. But my thing is this. If they gonna push this on for, for, for like 12 episodes, they gonna lose me. I'm just saying. I don't give a fuck if he's cheating or not. Mm. Bitch, he been cheating. He ain't, ain't the first time. So, we go on to Cynthia's house, and she's on the balcony, and you know what I'm saying? She thinking she got them thyroids all, and she thinking she she fly now. So, she like, bitch, my pussy is back twerking and popping, and I can do what I, I can do and say what I want. So, you think. So, she's up there, and she like, um, I only spend three days with my man. He's always in Charlotte. Who the fuck does that? Who the, so basically, Cynthia, you are having a long distance relationship, girl. Girl, you's a model. You, girl, you's a you been modeling, girl, and you modeling now, and, and you out here got some man leaving you for four days a week, and he only spending three days with you. So you therefore you thinking that the other woman's getting four days? I'm just saying, girl, no shade. You don't never give another hoe more days than you. You get that hoe a couple of hours. Not no days. You know what I'm saying? You always say, where the fuck you coming at? Where the fuck you coming home to? Where the fuck you lay down? If a bitch is sucking on your motherfucking man dick and he, she's sucking him down, you know what I'm saying? Giving you a break. Letting you rest. Because, bitch, you are tired, Cynthia. If she is sucking Peter's dick, girl, you just need to worry about him coming home. But, therefore, he's not coming home. He's over there four days off the week. So, you stress and you swear now. If shit done got crazy this season, girl, oh, my God. It's fucking going on. So, she's up in there and she like, um, you shouldn't be doing that. You you are a married man. You shouldn't be doing, indulging in nothing, coming close to, close to cheating. Because she didn't approach him about this cell phone, baby. And let me tell you, Peter's sitting there looking like, I didn't do nothing. Peter, his comeback was so smooth, y'all. Like the average nigga that's cheating on, cheating on my boo-boos. Boo-boos, she approached him. She approached him and the motherfucker said, I mean, that's a friend. That's a friend. I mean, it wasn't nothing. I just leaned in. I mean, look, how I'm buying. She's real cool. She's real cool. Cynthia, you might want to think twice about this. Why you on camera for, this is the first episode, girl, bag out. Fall back, okay? Renege, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. But Phaedra know how to kill a bitch with words. Phaedra said, um, 
Cynthia needs to worry about watering her own lawn before trying to water my grass. That fucking killed the fucking shit. I mean, Phaedra. Bitch, you kill a bitch with just a couple of words. You don't want to use a paragraph. That bitch... Mmm. Mmm. And it... Mm-mm. You need to, um... Check this nigga, Cynthia, more than what you're doing. Because, I mean, you trying to you trying your best. And you walk up in there talking about... If I was doing it, if the shoe was on the other foot, what would, how would you feel? Girl, he know damn well you wouldn't do this. And if you do do it, he's going to fuck you up. This man will beat your motherfucking ass, Cynthia. I'm just saying, girl, don't do it. And don't do it. So, he's sitting there. He's talking about this big-ass ring. What the fuck do a big-ass ring got to do with the price of eggs at Aldi's? The price of eggs at Price Chopper. The price of eggs that save a lot. You're not a goddamn thing because that big ass the ring is going to make me want to fuck you even faster. I'm going to fuck you, hope you doze off so I can steal that big ass rock, go ahead and run on home, and you don't find me. That's just me personally. Now, what would you do, boo boo? Would you pass it up? Or would you see that big ass ring? Bitch, I'm in the club. I'm going to say, I look over to my left, I see a reflection of myself in that motherfucking me. It's a mirror, bitch, on the ring. And I'm like, oh, my. Bitch, let's go home. And I don't give a fuck about Cynthia. I seen that bitch on seven episodes. Not seven, like four. Because she wasn't here from day one. But mind you, I would have been, been took that ring. They would have been looking for that ring. They would have been pressing charges on me. Oh, yes. Mm. I would have ran over to the right. Hopped up in my whip and sped out. Real fast. I just want to, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, you know? I'm just saying. So we got Miss Portia, and we all know Portia is my bitch, yes, 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 yes. And this boy walk in, this little, this little Instagram little fling she fucking with, you know what I'm saying? He walks in with a backpack, a bag, some bags of clothes, and some roses. Now, let me tell you something. You went to my house with them three motherfucking things. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Give me them roses and get the fuck gone because um, you bringing um, backpacks. Now, that backpack might have something good in it. I ain't going to say, hold on, keep the backpack, nigga. But this bag of clothes, you not moving in my shit. And not only was it my shit, this is a hotel. They was at a hotel. Mm -mm. He brought too much shit to the hotel for one night. Mm -mm. And he's a dummy. Girl, you know how you have that big dumb dick? And I mean that big dumb dick. Like, that big dumb dick that you don't bring on camera. This girl portion got fucked so good, y'all. She brought this big dumb dick on camera. His name is Duke. He's a safety. He's a safety for some football team. And I thought that they make, they make coins. But let, boo-boos. How much do safeties make? Because this motherfucker's all up in my bitch's purses. And then mind you, you know my bitch got more than one purse with coins in it. Yes, she does. He's all up. He's digging all in her purse. He's just up in there while she's sleep till in, still in 20s and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, is he volunteering for the football team? Or is he, is he volunteering being nice? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Age ain't nothing but a number. And going down ain't nothing but a thing. And then Portia said, Portia said, like Aaliyah said, AJ ain't nothing but a number, girl. Le send this boy back home. Send him back home before his motherfucking transfer expire. That motherfucking bus ride expire. And get him back home. He got two hours before the transfer expire. He got to go. So, and his big dumb dick, his, he's so dumb, his dick might take forever. He might, his dick might be dumb. He dumb. Girl, a big dumb situation. It ain't worth, it ain't worth the time. Send him gone. Okay, you seen him gone. He got bags and shit. I mean, girl, he moved in a hotel. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And then he seems so controllable. Like you can just say, um, like bark. He going woof woof woof, or scoot over real fast. And he going hop like a fucking remote control car. Like once you say, mm, it's gonna move. When you say, like. He just seems so dumb. I don't have time for that shit. I need you just too dumb for me. 
and his mom went to the bathroom and put the shirt on. He was scared of the camera crew, y'all. This man was that dumb. He is slow. He take pills. I'm telling you. Allegedly. The sources are saying it. You got my back, bitch. I know you do. But for real, he was really slow. I mean, now. Now. Boo-boos. I know I, a lot of my boo was like, mmm. He thick. Now. Now. Take a second and think about this shit, boo-boos. Think about what you did when you seen him. You say, oh, he's thick, baby. And you weren't the only one that probably did that. But I'm just saying. Mm, I'm just saying. When you did that and you were saying he thick and shit, did you think about how smart he was? What can he do for the family? Mm-mm-mm. Nothing. He couldn't do shit for you, your family, your son, your mama, your nobody. All he could do was a little bit, a little bit behind doors. And they go in the bad bedroom. She said, bring the backpack. What's in your backpack, girl? Was it a little... Girl, this is what I want to know. Was it a little, a little swan and swan swan up in there? Or was it a Candy's toy? I don't know, girl. Let me know. Was it a little swan and swan swan? No, girl. <laughs> oh. I'm fucking happy this show is back, y'all. I'm fucking happy. Yes, I am. Then we got Kenya and Cynthia. They roll around Buckhead. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Justin J, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Justin J, where you at? I heard you in Buckhead, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Living lavish. You 500 yards. And you not 500 feet. You 500 yards away from Kenya. Because you know she down there in that motherfucking dungeon. You better not be down there. Nigga, don't do it. Alrighty, so. Kenya is happy, y'all. She's so smiling. She's so joyful. Got a new house. And she just smiling like and she's a, I was thinking she was coming to like something that was like established, cause you know me, I don't, I don't rent nor buy a shit, a damn thing that that looks a, a a raggedy, funky mess. I mean that's just me. This is just, I believe in fixer uppers, but damn, fixer uppers do not go on TV. It's just like certain things that these ladies are bringing to this TV screen that I'm like, that shit you leave. That's some under the ground shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you do that on under the ground. You don't bring this to the earth. You don't let motherfuckers know that you're doing this shit. So she ran through there and she want to throw sh um, sh I mean, shade at Chateau Charade. So she's like, yeah, Chateau Charade is down the street. 500 feet or 500 something from my house. We neighbors. And they ride past Chateau Charade. And mind you, this house is coming along. It ain't finished. But it's almost there. And this lady has literally built a whole foundation from nothing to something. You know what I'm saying? She's not moving into anything. I guess she built this. You know, I guess it was nothing. And she, like, it took her four years, but damn. But, like, she's, it's getting there. Damn. Damn. Because it might take me longer than that. So I ain't going to throw no shade on that. I'm just saying. I can't build it in four years. So until then. Miss Sheree, you doing a damn thing. And this bitch want to ride down the street, Miss Kenya. Yes, I did, girl. Called you a bitch because you called her a bitch. And I'm going to call you a bitch because you rode down the street and then rode down a hill into a dungeon. To motherfucking bitch somewhere where it was scary. I mean, like, bitch, it's rats. Motherfucking, motherfucking rats, raccoons, snakes, and all this shit down here. And you got this motherfucking Milo down there. This girl motherfucking modeling. And you got this motherfucking girl down here walking around on motherfucking sticks and stones. Who the fuck did you think you was? And then the house said, do not enter. So I almost called the motherfucking police. Yes, I did because I almost called Justin J to tell him to call the fucking police because, bitch, you was trespassing. The sign said, do not enter. And you entered. And we don't even know if you own that property or not. You could have just took the camera crew there because we know how you do. And then you're going to say, it'll be finished real soon. Baby, let me tell you. Cynthia, Cynthia said, bitch, I will walk to the sidewalk. I don't even pull up there. In in that Range Rover. Okay. And how many cars do you got? Because last season, you had like another expensive ass car. So, girl, let me tell you. That Atlanta pussy is the best. And I'm trying to get on y'all level. I'm just saying. No shade, can you, girl. Give me some tips, bitch. Give me some tips. Love you, girl. Love you, Dawn. All righty. I mean, yeah, it's 500 feet, so they, they, they literally neighbors. 500 feet, and these are billionaires, millionaires. So, they yards should be like 499 feet, so they neighbors, okay? Mm-hmm. So, we go on, on, and 
She, um, Cynthia talking about how she pissed off about the video of Peter. Girl, everybody know what Peter doing. Girl, everybody know that was on a whole nother show. This shit is old. So for y'all to bring it on this show, y'all already y'all didn't I didn't got mad just re, re talking about this shit. So go ahead and launch this motherfucking piece of eyewear you trying to launch Cynthia's eyewear. The fuck? I mean it's cute and everything, but it's just more money for for, for Peter to blow off and to go to um Charlotte and, and open up coffee shops, open up Peter Dick shops, open up Peter Brothel's houses. Bitch, you stupid. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it's allegedly he doing all this. It ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Because you say, you, you don't think it's you. You don't think it's you. And, and if people are talking about Sheree House not finished, before you talk about Sheree House, understand this, Miss Kenya. Your house is not even finished. And it got signs on it that say don't enter. And you enter that, girl. You you trespassing. You, 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 ugh. This awful, ugh, oh my God. Let's, let's move it along. Let's move it along. Oh, but don't forget y'all, she gonna have elevators. Elevators in this house. And um, she says it's gonna be done in three months. Three months. Congratulations, girls. Congratulations. Con congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. Then we gonna move on to Miss Phaedra. Miss Phaedra and her mother, they are talking about Apollo. Now, he's been gone for one year. Now, they say that, he, they, that they talk to this man... One time a week or some shit. You know what I'm saying? He calls and they answer. They accept the phone. You have a collect call from an inmate at ATL Correctional Center on Whoopty Woo. And she said, oh, hello. And I bet you Fed would be like, oh, I'm busy. Hold on. Here's your son. Nigga, hold on. Hold on. But they say they answer. You, it, but Apollo getting on her nerves. She say from jail. How the fuck can a nigga get on your nerves from jail, boo-boo? When all you gotta do is not answer the the phone, not accept, not push five, and just hang up. Whenever I say hello, you just like don't even say hello. Just say I'm at work, cause you know that, that that hello they hear you. When you say hello, they hear you. You be like I'm at work, I'm at work. Don't call back. Don't call back. I'm in a meeting. I'm in a meeting. I'm getting fucked. I'm getting fucked. No, but we don't be out nasty because he gonna be in jail ready to kill herself. Woo! Don't do it. But Fed just swear she's, you know what I'm saying, finally peaceful. She's finally peaceful. And Nene's gone. Apollo's gone. This bitch got all the peace in the world. She like, yes. Stress free. No no no. When you gonna bring this new nigga you got, girl? Cause I know somebody filling you up, girl. When you gonna bring him around? I'm just asking. So we got Candy and Ty. And we know Ty has kept Apollo thing. Now this is like I guess a real home. They didn't they didn't get came they real close. You know, they real real close over the last couple months. So, you know, Ty holding down the fort for for, for um for Apollo. Ty hold down the bikes and shit. I'm just saying. Mm. Mm. Okay, so let's move along. Todd is approaching Candy like, you know what I'm saying, Candy, I know you pregnant and everything. I know you walking around here wearing sheets and shit. You know what I'm saying, trying to cover that, your gut. But you need to approach Phaedra. That bitch owe me some motherfucking money. And she like, hold on. What? She like, yeah, he like, that workout video, that bitch owe me some racks. Yes, racks, bitch. Thousands of dollars. And you need to approach her. And my thing about that boo-boos is this. That is not Candy's place to approach her. That was not her business deal. That is her friend, but that was not her business deal. For Todd to go into that business deal with Phaedra, that's all him and Todd, you know, him and Phaedra ordeal. I wouldn't even, or like, no, they ain't got nothing to do. I'm got enough stress. I'm walking out here fat pregnant, my face pregnant. Fuck you in that $8,000, so I'm sitting on what? Millions. You worry about $8,000, nigga. That's $8 to, to candy. You know, I'm just saying. I got this girl stressing over $8,000. Go get that money. And girl, do you see Riley? Riley looking like she about... I'm gonna, I ain't gonna say... Mm, I'm about to give her a big age. A big age. A big bird age. You know. Riley is looking like a big girl, though. Riley looking real mature. Mm, he looking old and 13. Mm. And then we got Todd throwing a shade at my girl Candy. We all know she's pregnant and shit. But before she was pregnant, Candy, girl, you know you was never in a smile. She's like, I'm trying to put this smile on. 
You know I'm trying to throw shade for the camera and Todd. You ain't never been no small. You always been at least a medium. I'ma say she all been in a large and now she's in like an extra large double XL. So what now what? I'm just saying. Love you down, girl. You is the shit. And after you push that baby out, girl, you always gonna be the shit. You gonna always be the shit, girl. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now we got Cynthia. Her eyewear line. She's so stressed. Girl, it's only eyewear. And you got so much competition out here. You shouldn't be stressed. So the sister visit. The sister Mally come in. She visit. And she like, uh, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Mally's back, bitch. Camera's rolling. I'm back. The sister is back. And we been, and she been not touching nobody. Because we already know Kenny, Kenny was going to whoop her ass. But now Candy's pregnant, so she get a little, a little pass. So she come back and she like, girl, everybody know your man cheating. What you gonna do? What, what's up? What's up? Uh, uh, uh. My whole thing is this. You up in here, Mally, comparing your, I mean, judging this girl. Where's your man at? Why the fuck you got so much time to go over to this lady house and talk about um, Peter and how he looking his motherfucking body. And then he fat and ugly and wooty woo. You know what I'm saying? Throwing shade. Your man better look good, bitch. I'm just saying, Miss Mally. Whatever the fuck your name is. You know what I'm saying? But, um, that ain't your place. I'm like, he don't need to be, he don't need to be in Charlotte. I can say that. I mean, he don't need to be out there. No, he don't. That is your place to say that. You being a real bitch saying that to her. But it's not your place to judge her man by his looks. Stay in your fucking place. And you know, and you know, like I know, boo-boo, that Cynthia only said that because this man has really cheated on her. He ain't just not this cell phone shit is just allegations and bullshit. This man has probably really fucked somebody because this lady has said that she he don't even look attracted to her no more. Something is deeper than what what they're telling us, and I don't mean. Uh, I know some bullshit is deeper, allegedly, allegedly, It's some deeper shit because. But you never let a bitch in your house to judge to judge your shit. Got you thinking you don't bitch stay outside. Bitch, go the fuck home. That's just real, being real. Because you know what the fuck is... You know what the real deal is. And if you know if you're going to be dumb or not. You don't let a bitch second guess your first your first move. If you want to be a dumb bitch, be a dumb bitch. You don't let no other bitch... Tip, you know what I'm saying? Make you renege on being a dumb bitch. You want to be a dumb bitch, be a dumb bitch. You want to be a smart bitch, be a smart bitch. But don't no other bitch going to tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Fuck the family. I don't care how concerned you are. So now we have Cynthia Bailey's eyewear lunch, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. We are at the lunch and she walks in, baby, looking like money, baby. She looked it real good. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. She looked it real, real damn good. Walked in. We got glasses on the platter. You know what I'm saying? We got Cynthia body on the platter. She looked it real, real good. But why was everybody wanting free shades? Portia wanted free shades. Portia, we know my, my girl Portia, she don't need free shades. Now, I'm not going to, now, she don't need free shades. But now, Miss Marlowe, talking about she want a couple pairs of free shades. Now, we all know Miss Marlowe needs them free shades. And then Peter walk up, and Miss Marlowe start throwing all the shade at Peter, like, girl, he seemed guilty. Girl, 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 girl. Marlo, girl, you've been trying to get a peach for for seasons, season after season after season. I don't know who in charge of this seat, this shit, but they not giving you a peach. So you need to just file the fuck back because these couple of little checks you getting, it, it ain't worth what you doing. You throwing too much shade in your five fucking minutes, and you not getting no peach. You throwing more, girl, good, good, what the fuck, good. That is Cynthia's motherfucking man. That's not nobody else plays. Like damn, I'm just saying. So then we go into the beef. Kenya wanna approach. Oh, baby, no, hold on, hold on, backpedal a little bit. Miss Sheree pulls up, bitch. Yeah, she pulls up and shuts the scene down with a little bit of music, not too much, just a little bit. She walks in and she like, I'm back, bitch. Yes, yes, yes. Walks in and she walked in fake as fuck from the get go. Yeah, she gave me so much. She reminded me of so many bitches in Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? I still love my boo boos locally, but. She walked in like, you know what I'm like? Like, I know you fake, but bitch, well, hi, I'm here. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It was cute. And she just like, um, what's up? And Kenya like, girl, I heard your house is not, oh, um, you can't move in it. And whoopsie boo. And Sheree say, um, 
people that's written, you know what I'm saying, or trying to buy, don't, don't even address me. Don't even conversate with me, okay? That's the same goes for people with jobs. In careers, bitch, don't don't cross that. Don't cross that, bitch. You over here renting this house. I'm I'm buying a house, bitch. I'm building a house. Do not approach me. I don't give a fuck. I got knocked it over. I've been zipping. I don't give a fuck if it took her a hundred years. She didn't build this house, girl. You're renting a house, and somebody take you three months to put an elevator up in there, girl. Shut the fuck up. Now, okay, I'm just saying, girl, girl, I don't have to. And look, I don't have to. Shut the fuck up. Now I ain't not right here with booze. Now. We all might say Peter ain't attractive. Whoopty whoop, whoop, whoop. He might be black, ugly. But Peter do have a sex appeal. Now, this little light skinned girl. And she didn't roll that chocolate donkey donkey. Roll that chocolate donkey donkey. And see if they need to find out who the fuck this bitch is. Because, um. These hoes gonna keep on talking. And she know like I know. You know what I'm saying? She know like I know. She know like I know. But, boo boos, that is it. And next week. We gonna meet, I guess, some some new potential peach holders. We got Miss Kim Fields. Mm-hmm. And I guess Miss Sheree is back and she don't have a peach just yet. Maybe next season if she do good enough, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe she's just back to get a check to finish her house. Cause we all know that she started the house when she was on the Housewives of Atlanta. Now she might finish it with this last episode. I mean, it's last season, shit. I don't, the episode wasn't that, wasn't that big. The episode wasn't that big. But next week, with Boos, we got Peter continuing to dog Cynthia. Like, bitch, shut up. Bitch, I fucked down in what? Bitch, I been fucking the bean house. Yes, bitch. Coffee bean house. I said it. In what? We got Miss Kim Fields making her interest. We don't know why. I don't know who the fuck. Uh, what my girl Portia say? Girl, if you weren't born, if you weren't born when before, if you was born before me. And you swear you a celebrity. Bitch, you, I don't know you. So I don't know Miss Kim Fields. And um, we're going to find out who she is. And um, until then, boo boo. Take a sip of that wine. And take your ass to sleep. I love you.